Because in the end, I am always of the belief that a person's access to basic comforts and basic dignities isn't a luxury, it's a right, period. When I was in year 11 and I did it for the first time, I made it to the New South Wales State Finals. And as I said, because I found it so rewarding, I did it again in year 12 and in year 12, I managed to win the state finals, so I went to the national finals that were held in Melbourne last year, and I also was fortunate enough to win there, so I will be going to the international competition later this year. My favourite part of participating was definitely the people that I got to meet in plain English, because as somebody who did start debating and public speaking relatively late, I didn't really know any of the people that were competing there and I think that was sort of nice in a way because it meant that everybody else that I met was somebody new to me but that they all had a similar passion in that area and then on top of that the experience of being able to hear them speak about topics that were important to them I thought was also extremely valuable. I think it's also taught me to have a little bit more confidence in what I do produce and to know that other people have the desire to hear you speak as well. I think the number one thing I would probably advise is public speaking is really about giving your take and your angle on a topic. So I think it's very important that you're always looking out for new things to speak about, not just a few nights before the competition.